Uh, so, uh, hello, Gail. Can you just uh, briefly tell us about this uh, work? Sure. Um, so, in this work, we focus on the verification of neural networks that are increasingly used in autonomous driving, for example, to create an understanding of the environment of the car. And um, they are also used for image recognition, uh, for example, the traffic sign recognition. And uh, of course, it's a question whether we can trust these neural networks. So we have focused on the verification of safety properties of neural networks and um, the robustness of neural networks against modifications of the input. And in the case of this image recognition, we can see that uh, there, if maybe you can come closer, so there is an original image which is classified as a speed sign with 60 kilometers per hour with high confidence. Then we have a modified image where there is some small dirt on the street sign. And then suddenly the network only classifies it to 60 with 33% and with two thirds it classifies the network as 80 kilometers per hour. And of course this can lead to a safety threat uh, if an autonomous vehicle drives 80 kilometers per hour instead of 60 kilometers per hour. In order to uh, examine neural networks regarding these properties, we implemented a tool at Fortis called the NM verifier, where we take as an input the whole neural network and model it as an optimization problem. And then we also encode safety properties of this neural network, which can, for example, be that the car shouldn't be steered to the left side if there are obstacles or other cars on the left side. Then we solve this optimization problem using our tool. And for these properties, then we can see whether this situation can occur or whether the net is safe for all of these situations that we have encoded. Regarding ro the robustness against uh, these modification of images, we can also compute uh, maximum resilience against these modifications and then compare different neural networks regarding their resilience. And in the bottom picture we illustrate that our tool can also be used to generate so-called adversarial examples and an adversarial example is an image which looks similar to for example this three here but the network classifies it as something different than a three for example an eight and this um, generation of uh, this um, generating of adversarial examples is also shown in our demonstrator well, we visualize a neural network that is used for digit recognition and we take a particular input image, for example, this image which has a 7 and the network classifies this image as a 7 with more than 75%. And now we start our tool on the same input image and we start to find images which will be more and more similar to the original image. So we can compare these two images and we see now that our tool finds images that look almost the same as the original one, but have a different classification. So this is a counter example for this neural network being robust against these um, adversarial perturbations. And our tool can also be used to uh, verify safety properties of neural networks. For example, here we have a highway situation where we have a vehicle and a neural net that takes as input the distances and velocities of its surrounding vehicles and then predicts an action of that vehicle. For example, to change lanes to the left or accelerate or decelerate. And for this neural network, we want to verify the property that if the, there is a car left of the ego vehicle, 
there shouldn't be a velocity to that side of more than one meter per second. So there shouldn't be a significant velocity to the left if there's an obstacle in the left. And this verification property can also be um, solved with our tool. And for this case, we run the tool in Google Cloud in order to use more processors uh, to solve this problem.